Jared and Lindsay here in Mackinac City with the sun just blasting me in the face, as you can see. <laughs> but we are going to do an all day eating video in Mackinac City. Why? Because we've been driving around and it looked like there's a lot of interesting places to eat. However, I'm not going to film it all in one day. I'm not doing that. It kills me every time I try to cram a breakfast, lunch, and dinner in <laughs> in a short period. So I'm going to do it over a couple days. But we're going to start with breakfast at this place. Toast to go go? Yep. It says all day breakfast, why not? Here we are inside Toast to Go Go. It's kind of rustic in here. Now, Lindsay, how in the world are you planning on eating all that? That's bigger than you. <laughs> yeah. And it's got bananas on it, that's gross. I'm gonna work at it. Keep your bananas over there, I can smell them. I don't plan on sharing my bananas. Now when I ordered this, it said it was the meat and sausage, bacon, and ham in it. I hope this little fleck of bacon and chunk of sausage they stuck on the top isn't what they were talking about. Is there more hiding in there? Yeah, there is. Can you see it? Mm. All right. Try it real quick, I suppose. Oh, man. <laughs> to use silverware that was provided. Oh, wow, look at that. It's whole strips of bacon, not chopped up bacon. I'll give them credit for that. Usually, in the balance I get, it's like chopped up. Bacon bit size bacon. Did you get four pieces of toast? Yeah, I'm not gonna eat any of them. Oh. Yeah, it's a pretty good omelet. I like it. The full strips of bacon. I wasn't expecting much, but that's actually one of the better omelets I've had. Well, I ate all my omelet. I ate most of my hash browns. What's going on over here? I yeah. got full. I think there's a whole pound of cream cheese. Yeah, in you're mired in the uh, <laughs> cream cheese and sugar swamp there and can't get out. <laughs> Bog down. It's too much. I couldn't do it. Uh huh. You should have just got two <laughs> eggs and a piece of sausage. <laughs> Probably. I knew you couldn't eat that. <laughs> That's okay. I still enjoyed it. It was delicious. Yeah. <laughs> just too much food for me. Those Banana. dirty, disgusting bananas on there. They're <laughs> not disgusting. Well, and there you have it. Toasted go go. It was good. I was actually surprised at how good the omelet was. Uh, it had full strips of bacon and a lot of meat in there. Usually, you know, if I go out and I get an omelet, it's, yeah, a little, like, chintz on the meat a little bit. But this was good. It was a little bit, not too bad price-wise. $13.99 for the omelet and $13.99 for Lindsay's French toast. Everybody just got the same thing. That's why I only showed Lindsay and I's. But it was good. Lindsay ate a fraction of her food. But, you know, what can you do? All right, moving on. Time to get some lunch. So we are going to head into the Mackinac Bridge Museum. There's a pizza place. Mia's? Maya's? Maya's Pizza? How do you say that, Lindsay? Mama Mia's. Mama Mia's. Oh, I didn't see the mama. All right. I see the pizza, though. <laughs> so this place was suggested to me by somebody, suggested to me by somebody in the know. What's neat about this is there is a bridge museum up top that I'm hoping we can take a look at. Look at this dude, man. I guess they had VR back when they were mining. Looks pretty cool in here. It's self-serve. You just, well, not self-serve. They don't deliver it to you. You walk up, order it, call your name, you come and pick it up. Check out all the decorations in there. Look at the chainsaw hanging precariously over the... <laughs> <laughs> those people eating pizza. <laughs> well, there you have it. How much was this? $20? Four toppings? One large? $20.99. $20.99. Yeah, what did we get here? We got some... What did we get? Pepper rings, banana pepper rings, pepperoni, sausage, and bacon. And bacon. Good pizza. Looks good. Yeah. I mean, it's not mind-blowing, but it's definitely good. It's not it a good. kind that... You know, sometimes you get pizza and you can't make it through it because it's not good. This is good. There goes Lindsay, filling up her pizza with cheese before eating it. All right, she's going in for her bite. Wait, Nicholas, which one is Nicholas? Which one is that one? That one down there. It's very thin, so you can't pick it up. Yeah, it's away from the water. Yeah. Nicholas. It's excellent. Here in the a little bit of a bonus. We're going to go into the Mackinac Bridge Museum above Mamma Mia's. Oh, man, look at these. I remember those when I was a kid. These have them in the department stores. You get a little egg out of there. 
So the free museum is up some stairs. There we go, let's check it out. Oh, it smells like, it smells like cigar smoke up here. I still don't think we're in the museum yet. Looks like upstairs there was some additional seating. That's where we should have ate. Yeah, it looks like an old bar, but they don't seem to be serving anything. There we go. Museum. A little model of the Mackinac Bridge here. Hmm. Well, this is the museum. They really hyped it up, <laughs> but it's just one room. That's still cool. Fortunately, with the music playing, I can't show too much. Here you go. A big daddy helmet. I can't tell if these guys are happy or a little bit nervous to be working on the Mackinac Bridge. So they do have a little theater in here. It's pretty dark. Playing a little bridge. Okay, yeah, that's real dark. That's too dark to see. Uh, they do have a nice little video going of the Mackinac Bridge being built. Nobody's in here currently, otherwise I wouldn't be talking. I was jesting about the size of the Free Museum, but it is actually really cool up here. There's a lot of a lot of history. Hey, check this out. I, this says that a blade or a fire destroyed Mamma Mia's in 2005. And then in 2006, there they are rebuilding it. They did a good job. I would have never known this burnt down. Oh yeah, some more pictures of the restaurant burning down. Now knowing that that plate that this burnt down, it's even stranger. They were up here smoking cigars before we came up. <laughs> Well, there you have it. The museum, the bridge museum on top of Mamma Mia's. Well, there you have it. Mamma Mia's pizza. Not bad. The more I ate it, the more I liked it. So, it was good. It had that type of crust that I can eat and not get too sick. So, I would suggest it. 20 bucks? Yeah, yeah it's definitely worth 20 bucks. He said he ate here on his honeymoon. 40, year, 40 years ago. Oh, man. Just let everybody know how old I was. Well, it is dinner time. So we're going to head into the Dixie Saloon. Let's see what that's all about. So we're actually sitting over in the O'Reilly's Irish Pub and Restaurant section. But it's the same restaurant. They're connected and it's the same same kitchen and same menu from what I'm being told. This place is pretty neat in here. It doesn't have very big, but it's nice. I like it. I'm here with one of the people I came here with got a, what is that, a whitefish dip? And they said the plate was very hot. That's not hot. Gosh, what's up? How was your whitefish dip? Pretty good. I didn't really taste any whitefish though. It just kind of tasted like garlic dip, but I mean, overall pretty good and creamy. Have you, have you had whitefish before? No. Well then how do you know you didn't taste whitefish? I didn't taste fish, man. <laughs> so we're here in O'Reilly's Little Irish restaurant. We got a nice, private window display booth. Nice. Show our little, we got our little really private like booth in there. Yeah, we're right here, yeah. people are staring at us as they walk by. All right, here we go, food's here. Lindsay got a perch fish sandwich. Looking a little wind whipped, Lindsay. Take a bite. Well, dear, what do you think? That fish is really good. Is oh, it? Yeah, and I like that it's not thick bready. Well, there's no, not too much I didn't see any breading on it. Yeah, it's lightly breaded. Oh, yeah, you're right. But, but you it's like not it? too much. It's really good, yeah. So I got the fish and chips. Mine was $18, but there's quite a bit of fish there. Yeah. It's all right. It's a little chewy. Fries are good. There you go, Dixie Saloon and O'Reilly's Irish Pub and Restaurant. It is the same restaurant. <clears throat> wasn't bad. I thought the price was maybe a little bit high for the fish. They said it was their best seller. It was just okay fish. I honestly would not get it again. Lindsay's fish sandwich was pretty good and I tried somebody else got the loaded mac and cheese and I thought that was good. But as far as the best seller fish, I don't know, it was just it was just okay. It was definitely edible, but not anything I would get a second time. A little bit of a bonus. We're gonna come in here, we're gonna get some fudge. Because when you're in Mackinac, you have to get Mackinac fudge. Just waiting my turn to get fudge. Check this out that they have in this store. All these old prints. That's pretty sweet, I like that. I wonder how much they are. Do not feed the Sasquatch. I've seen a lot of people up here wearing Sasquatch shirts. So everything I'm seeing is between $15 and $16. I like this one. Um, 
That one's not priced. All the ones in this bin were like 15, 16 bucks. <laughs> okay, bad news. <laughs> fudge selection was not uh, as good as what we've seen at the other fudge shops around here. So no fudge tonight. Gonna get it tomorrow before we leave. But Lindsay got an ice cream cone. <laughs> what is it? Rum black cherry. Is it good? It's delicious. I didn't get any. My ice cream doesn't sit well with me. I'll eat your share. Awesome. How about that? Oh. Okay, we're getting ready to take off here. It's the last chance for fudge. Been going to a lot of fudge places and passing up on all of them. So next, we're gonna do this one. Devin's Mackin Island Candy Fudge at her factory. No matter what, we're gonna get something. Whether we want to or not. But here we go, we're back home. We're gonna eat our Mackinac Island fudge here. We didn't really have a place to do it because we bought it right before we left town. I also didn't film inside there because they were blasting the radio and I just didn't feel like dealing with a copyright issue. Now there was a lot of flavors to choose from but they had Snickers, Mackinac Island fudge, and Snickers is Lindsay's favorite candy. So I suggested we get her favorite. <laughs> candy and try it instead of something that I wanted because I probably wasn't gonna eat very much of this fudge anyway. So let's open it up and take a bite. Let me see the little nugget you're gonna bite. Oh you should have cut some off that's got all that like oops Skip sorry. into the middle? Yeah <laughs> why not? For one little bite. Like Go ahead eat your nugget. Eat your snicker nugget. Well what do you think of the snicker nugget there? It's perfect. Is it good? It's earned its name, Snickers Fudge. Well, there you go. With good meaning. <laughs> it's nice and caramely, I like it. I'm gonna skip it. I want my wife to enjoy all the Snicker Fudge since Snickers is their favorite. Sure, why not? <laughs> all right, thanks for watching.